Just about every data element in Onares has a matching field code that allows you to create a messaging template whether you're communicating with your guests via email, SMS, or through a connected channel like Verbo or Airbnb. Field codes are snippets of bracketed text that pull data from your account and auto-populate into your message, saving you tons of time and hassle. By default, every account already has a request renter agreement for channel bookings template created. This is to have someone that booked your property through a channel like Verbo or Airbnb sign your renter agreement. This gives you an extra layer of legal protection and an opportunity to capture their direct contact information. Let's take a look at the request renter agreement for channel bookings template. Go to Settings, Messages, Templates. Under Template Type, we see that this is a booking template and it is used by one trigger. Click on the Request Renter Agreement for Channel Bookings template to look inside. We see that this template is used by a trigger that runs as soon as a booking is created, which means this email is generated and sent as soon as a booking is created. There's a message that says that this template applies to booking and can only be used in booking-related conversations. The name field reads Request Renter Agreement for Channel Bookings. In the From field, the field code MyCoFull is entered, which means that your company or full name will be inserted here. Click on the Insert Field Code menu to see an available list of field codes and a description of what data they insert. The fields in the From are pulled from the profile area of your account. My email will add your email address. The To field reads C full and C email. If we click on the insert field code menu and click on the contact tab, we'll see all the existing field codes that can be pulled from the contact that the guest has entered during the booking process. C full will add the contact's full name and C email will add the email address. The subject field reads renter agreement for P name. P name will pull the property name and add it here. The body of the email starts with hi C first which, as you may have guessed by now, will add the contact's first name to the greeting. Click Insert Field here to see all available field codes you could add to the body of your message. Click the Preview button to see what this email will look like when sent. Select which property and which booking and you will see the message generated with all the field codes populated with the corresponding data. You can easily create messaging templates too. Let's go through the process of creating a welcome template that we will set a trigger to be sent out to the guest two days before their scheduled arrival. In the Templates section, click on the Create New Email Template drop-down menu and select Booking because this is a booking-related message. Name it Welcome. The From and To fields already have the appropriate field codes. In the Subject field, we'll write Welcome To and insert the field code for the property name, which is P name. Hi C First will pull the contact's first name in the salutation, and my first will add your first name to the closing of the message. Let's add some info in the body of the email using additional field codes. Let's put the property's door lock code information in the message. Using field codes, it would look something like this. Welcome to, insert the field code, P name. There's a special door lock that gets you inside. Your access code is, insert the field code, B door code. If we preview this, we see that the template pulled the door lock code for the particular property that was selected. If you use one of our door lock integrations, they will generate a code for each new booking and the field code will pull that code for you, further automating the process. To set a trigger to send this message automatically two days prior to the arrival date of the renter, go to Triggers in the Settings section and click on the Create Trigger button. Under Action, Click on Add a Scheduled Time and set it to two days before booking has arrived, and we'll set the time to 8 a.m. In the Send Template field, select the Welcome template you just created. You can leave everything else set to the defaults and save. This is an oversimplified example of a welcome email template. Of course, you would probably include more information and field codes in your welcome template. We have a template library at ownerreservations.com support articles email template library. And you can see the comprehensive list of field codes that automatically pull from your existing data at ownerreservations.com slash support slash articles slash field dash codes. Despite this comprehensive list, you may have a specific need for a field code that doesn't exist. The good news is you can create custom field codes. To create a custom field, go to the left-hand settings sidebar and scroll down to custom field definitions in the workflow and devices section.
For this example, we'll create a field code for garage codes for an owner that has multiple properties with different garage codes. Click the Create Field Definition button. In the Type field, select which category your field will fall under. Since a garage code would be part of the physical property, we'll set the type to Property. In the Name field, we'll call it Garage Code. For Merge Code, this is where we write the field code. The PX will automatically be added to the start of your field code to denote that this is a property field code. The short code should be written in all caps with no spaces or special characters. We'll enter Garage Code and leave the format set to the default, plain text, and the status set to active. Plain text is for simple text that doesn't require any special formatting. Rich text is for text that requires formatting like multiple line breaks, and file is for uploading files. Click Save. In order for this field code to automatically pull the garage code from the properties, we must first define values for this for each property. Go to your properties, select your property, and click on Custom Fields in the sidebar. Click the Change button next to your custom field we just created and enter the garage code for that property. Now we can add this field code to our welcome template email by going back to Templates, selecting the Welcome Template, clicking into the body and clicking the Insert field, going to the Property tab and scrolling down to our Garage Code field and clicking Insert. Now, any property that has a garage code value defined will automatically have that info show up in your welcome email. You can also use custom field codes to request and obtain specific information from renters in the booking process. For example, if you wanted to collect a photo ID from the renter during the quote acceptance process, you could add a custom photo ID field and require the renter to upload a photo ID. To do this, go to Settings, Custom Field Definitions. Click the Create Field Definition button. For type, select a booking. We'll name it ID Upload, and for the merge code, we'll enter ID in all caps. VX will automatically be added to the front of this, so the field code will be VXID. For format, we'll select File because we'll want the renter to upload an image file here. For show during quote acceptance, we'll select Yes Required Entry. In order, you could enter a value that would determine the order this field code would be displayed if you had multiple field codes. The default sort is alphabetical. In the description field, we'll write, please upload a copy of your government issued ID card. Select which properties you would like this applied to and the status. Click save when done. The guest will now see the file upload field during checkout and must upload an image to continue with the booking. Once the guest completes checkout and the booking is created, you can review the file the guest has uploaded under the custom fields tab of the booking you can best manage the uploaded file under the Files tab of the booking. You can also use field codes to create and add headers and footers to your messages, forms, and legal agreements. Do this by going to Settings and clicking on Theming and Branding and Legal and select your account theme. Let's add name, email address, and business website address to the footer of the email. Click Change in the email footer and use the Insert Field button to select and add your desired field codes, which in this case would be my full for the name, my email for the email address, and my URL for your business website address. Now these will automatically be added to the footer of your emails so you don't need to write them in the body. Field codes do require time to set up and implement, but can save you lots of time in the long run, especially if you have multiple properties. For more information about field codes, please see our support center article, ownerreservations.com support articles, field dash codes. Thanks for choosing Onores.